It's Friday, March 29th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Spectacular, and our scripture is 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Because we understand our fearful responsibility to the Lord, we work hard to persuade others. God knows we are sincere, and I hope you know this, too. Are we commending ourselves to you again? No, we are giving you a reason to be proud of us, so you can answer those who brag about having a spectacular ministry rather than having a sincere heart. If it seems we are crazy, it is to bring glory to God, and if we are in our right minds, it is for your benefit. Either way, Christ's love controls us. Since we believe that Christ died for all, we also believe that we have all died to our old life. He died for everyone, so that those who receive his new life will no longer live for themselves. Instead, they will live for Christ, who died and was raised for them. As an apostle of Jesus, Paul had seen and done things that would have gotten the attention of the talent scout for Barnum and Bailey's circus. Those who are interested in the spectacular are always looking for that which is more titillating than the last show. It's always about the show because a mesmerized audience is defenseless to hold on to their rent money. Sounds a little like politics, eh? (laughs) In Paul's ministry, everything was about giving glory to God in the name of Jesus. To those who were career braggers simply looking to grab the spotlight, it was about self-promotion. Motive is always the dividing line between spectacular and sincere. The meaning of spectacular, as with beauty, is in the eye of the beholder, and there are as many possibilities as there are personality types. To the introverted among us, spectacular is to be kept at a distance. We just want to be more quiet. To the engaged type A extrovert, spectacular is like light to a moth. To the naive, glitzy, three-ring circuses are a narcotic. And to those who are cynical, the reaction is envy, greener than a St. Patty's Day parade. In some, it's what Forrest Gump's mama used to say, spectacular is as spectacular does. I like this passage because it lands its blows to the inflated ego right where it can accomplish the most good. There are a lot of religious shows that happen in some big circus arenas every Sunday, and even on TV throughout the week. Some of the circuses travel. They're billed as miracle revivals that show up on the circuit under spiritually leaky tents. If you contrast the glitz, hype, light of scripture, and promotional gimmicks against what happens at the average local church... It's no wonder why the market share of Bragging Rights International is emptying the local pews more than ever before. Pastor Joe, non-super-Christian average servant of Jesus, finds it hard to compete with that 32 plastic teeth perfect smile promising a Lexus in every driveway. As the TV cameras dance in and out, complete with background image support and staging, P.T. Barnum, founder of the Barnum and Bailey Circus, is quoted as having said, there's a sucker born every minute. Even a cursory reading of his life story will verify that just about summed up the goal, the substance, and the ethic of his life, getting the cash out of every back pocket he could reach while dangling the spectacular in front of your eyes to distract. For those who are not easily distracted from Scripture's admonition to keep our eyes on Christ, you can't miss that Barnum operated a franchise designed, approved, and fully supported by the father of lies. It's all spectacular fizz and giggle and designed to amaze while your entertained brain slips away from giving glory to God. Scripture concludes that people who live this way, grabbing the glory for themselves instead of giving glory to the Father, have their reward, the praise and pocketbook of humans. That reward will be a different kind of spectacular. For you today, if you listen to the hype that glorifies the spectacular, you won't hear the still, small voice of God. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.